good on guys welcome back to the channel this is asa studio so it's another photoshop tutorial and in today's tutorial i'm just going to show you some tips you can use when addicting all right so this is going to go boil down to color correction frequency separation just a quick tip you can just quickly use in addicting okay so you can look at observe this image you can see that it's just uh it's not coming to life it does not have the right color um, lightning and it's just as if that's not the way it's killing the image or the way it looks like. I don't know how to put it, but you all understand what I mean. Okay, so we're going to be doing a lot of makeup and a lot of color correction and you know, restoration. So let's get started. The first trick I'm going to do is to get the right color profile. And I'm going to use the solid color for that. This works a lot for all images. So create a solid color, choose any color, not black. Turn it off, double click on it, and look for where it's white. I guess the eyes. Uh, supposed to be white it's okay turn it back on change the blending mode to survive and this looks blown out right yes I know it looks blown out so double click on it and you can you know increase this to the top okay like this I'm gonna do that just increase it to the top and it's okay so just with a quick tip look at what it does to the image okay so now grab another view and saturation clip it to it and you, as you adjust this is actually affecting it because it's affecting the one below so if you see anywhere that's looking um too bright you can use that so i'm going to bring it down below so we still have some details on our uh, we can bring back some colors by taking this up and down let's take it forward to bring back some colors okay so the right one is to create another view and saturation and let me zoom in I'm gonna zoom in. Let's open up this one. I'm just gonna to go to the yellow tab straight away. And why? Because I, I feel the presence of yellow. And for that, we could decrease the saturation of the yellows or increase the saturation. And mostly this as well. I'm gonna bring this down the hue to make the color look um, real, like that. Let's say 26, and we can increase the. Um, was it called saturation of it to somewhere like there and let's bring let's bring this down yeah so like that i'm gonna close it so let's grab some exposure and we're gonna just increase the camera something like this it's just a very quick tip and you can see the difference okay just look at the difference i create stem visible layer control shift total t create stem visible layer now that creates the invisible layer, uh, there's no blemishes we like to fix, just all these parts, and I feel uh, it's okay already. So what we're going to go, we're going to go to filter, camera or filter, and we're going to create the last adjustment for that, okay? So open up the basic tab, and you can as well use the white balance tool again, and just click on it. If you don't like that, you can you know, adjust it manually. I'm going to do that manually like this minus four still the same you know okay so now let's go to the shadows bring down the shadows should we yeah let's increase the shadows so we have some details from the hair i'm going to bring down the black okay so the black as well increase let's bring down the white should we increase the highlight let's bring down the highlight and now we have details on the cloth or on the chest Increase some texture and I'm going to close that. Go to the curve, take the highlight up, take the shadows down, and not too much, just minus one to create. Let's do it minus three. Yes, okay, so that's okay. Open up the color mixer. This is where I'm going to spend the most of my time. And for the lips, I'm going to increase, although I'm, going to, I'm still going to add some color to the lips. And for the oranges, that's the saturation we're doing. And for this blue, yeah, I'm going to increase the saturation of that, like that, not too much. And these as well. We have some purples, and just increase the saturation of this. Go to the U, and let's make the yellow color look more like the orange. And let's see. This looks fine. I think I love it like this. Okay. Uh, the yellow, the orange. 
that should be fine right here i'm gonna bring this back and bring this back and there we go so for the luminance i'm gonna bring the luminance of this up luminance of the blue up and luminance of the magenta up close that go to the calibration and take this forward let's emphasize it more it takes this backward you can see let's replicate take this backward Let's find a sweet spot for the greens. I'm gonna take it backwards like this. What a nice color grade, it's added to the image and boom, so where we have with the final image. So we have this before and then after the adjustment, okay? So there are lots you can do. Let's try and fix it, okay? And double click, I wanna fix the lips. So take this color, it's okay turn it back on ctrl i to invert the mask ctrl i grab the brush tool zoom in and i'm gonna paint on it like this just on the leaves so if you want to make the color red you can do that i'm doing this like this okay all right so we have this one and we could change the blend mode to let's use soft light and there we go so you can choose any other color for it and i think i guess this this looks you know the yellow yeah this looks fine it's okay you see before and after okay i'm gonna remove it from where it's not needed uh grab the hit x grab your brush and let's remove it from the top the tip on the other side to something like this okay you can as well change the eye okay so let's do that for the eyes go ahead it's okay turn it off and double click let the color of the eyes and then turn it back on in vax control i and mostly just hit x and then cover the eyes with that okay and you can use this as um, creating artificial lens i'm going to show you how to do that apart from changing the color to soft light uh, you can put it on divide and it's going to create the lens type and you can then you know decrease the opacity it's going to make it look like you know the cat eye kind of thing but i don't want that so i'm not using divide Okay, I'm just gonna do the um, soft lights, or we can use color. Okay, let's use saturation. Okay, let's just let's just change it to uh, normal. I know what to do. Grab the hue and saturation. Okay, hold on, alt, copy the mask, and click yes. I'm gonna delete this, delete, and then let's increase the saturation of that and the type of color you want to. Have. I guess this is okay. You can use blue, whichever color that fits. This color just fits well. Green. Okay. So that's for the um, retouching. I'm gonna create step visibility. I group up everything and check out before and after. So shift, shift, and group and off. And there we go. Before, after, before, after. Amazing, right? So thank you guys for watching. See you in the next video.